Hey, Warren, two days out from uh, another away trip, this time to Concord Rangers. How are the lads feeling ahead of that? All year right, it is windy. Um, no, listen, it's uh, the boys are in good spirits, to be fair. Look, I've watched the game back. I thought we played some very good stuff. You know, we wanted to get on the ball, we wanted to make things happen. And just what they said was uh, was the final third. We lacked that wee bit of belief and creativity. Uh, and we worked on it. But as I said, I'm not going to be too uh, disappointed because I thought, you know, that, you know, we tried to play the right way. Um, and as I said, to you get the ball down. Obviously, you know what I mean? As I said, in that little bit in the, in the end that we're, where the uh, the goals come from, we just lacked that wee bit of quality, and uh, but we've got we've got a chance to put that right in Saturday. Yeah, and you said before that in previous weeks that you'd be concerned if we weren't creating chances at all. We are creating chances, just, as you said, just sticking the ball away. Yeah, and we've got a couple of days now before Saturday, and we did mention it on Tuesday. But is there going to be a bit of an emphasis on a bit of finishing and just getting that confidence yeah, back into the last? Sometimes you don't want to go too much into it because it can put things in people's head. But I think it was more. You know, the final ball probably we lacked a little bit off. You know, you looked at Penny had a great shot in the first half, Devontae in the second, but it was when we got in around, it was the final pass that disappointed me. We tried to force things. Um, we didn't beat the first man. So, you know, there's there's a couple of things that we'll have to work on and uh, put it right. But as I said to you, we look we look forward to a very tough game because, you know, Concord have a new 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 coaching staff in. Um, three good wins, very good wins. So it's, we're kind of underestimating them. You know, they've got momentum. They're fighting for their lives. There's a long, long way to go. And uh, we've got to make sure we're on top of our game. You mentioned Concord there, obviously. Again, an, another team. We've, we've played a few this season already that have had, uh, you know, a recent managerial change and coaching change. Does that make things even more unpredictable in this division where, where yeah. results are unpredictable uh, anyway? You know what, 100%. Um, we always hit them at the wrong time, to be honest. But look, we can't look too much into it. We respect everyone, no matter who we play. It'll be a tough, tough game. Um, you know... I watched a game the other night, and as I said to you, they've, they've got a good game plan. They work hard, um, but we've got to make sure we're uh, we're on it. And obviously, you know, with, with two days to get to get ourselves ready, and it is difficult as well because you're missing players because of these these people that decide to climb uh, bridges and uh, shut the country down. Um, and look, it's what they believe in. But I have to mention this because, as I say, from a selfish point, it's affecting my work, and. Um, you know, I hope I hope they get it sorted, but it's just that uh, crazy that uh, this can shut the whole motorways down for players. Yeah, well, obviously Saturday could well be an issue if they decide to climb the Dartford Bridge again. But um, <laughs> I know there's a, a coach of um, supporters going. The supporters association have another coach going over to Essex on Saturday, and and they've shown their support on the road and at home all season. And again, it's it's, it's great to see there'll be so many there again this weekend. No, the, the fans have been brilliant. I thought the fans the other night after the game. You can see in the top right corner, they give the boys a stand of age and they clap them. And, you know, we spoke about it the other night. All they want to see is people playing with passion, people playing with work ethic. Look, I said this from day one. This is a transitional period, no matter how you look at it, where we come from. And people can say, we've got players this, we've got that. You've got new players. We're building it. It's the first year of building on the new project of what the new owners, what we want to do. So, look, I'm adamant we're in a good position, you know. If you'd have said they'd be in the top 10 for the first three months of the season, you'd have snapped your hands off. There's no right, there's no wrong. You know, it's not an easy to win a game of football. And I think, you know, seeing the fans the other night, they appreciate it. Yes, they're frustrated as us because, you know, the defenders done their job, but we didn't put the ball in the net. And that's what counts. And uh, but we've a chance to put it right, Saturday.